But many weeks have begun to go by. What more do we know about the epidemiology of this virus and how's that going to help us? So we're learning a little bit every day. It belongs to the family of the SARS-related coronaviruses, but it's it seems to be more transmissible human to human than SARS or MERS coronaviruses. Um, but perhaps has a mild uh, clinical course. So you have symptoms like fever, headache, cough, fatigue, and then you recover. So a flu-like illness. About 15 to 17% can be quite severe and about 5% end up with critical illness in ICUs. We yet don't understand fully the epidemiology in terms of how easily it spreads. Your children seem to be relatively less affected. So only about 1% of people affected so far are, are children under 15. Um, the older you are, the more the other diseases you have, the more um, dangerous this is because then you're likely to get more severe disease. We're seeing absolutely unprecedented global solidarity, James, um, as far as the desire to to do something to tackle this new virus. I mean, I think the, the world scientists have really taken it upon themselves as a collective challenge to, to their skills and their resources. The other thing, the journals around the world have responded by opening up preprint servers. Paywalls have come down. Most of these journals have a page devoted to coronavirus open access. One other thing I want to mention is the sharing of the genetic sequences because that's been critical to this outbreak. If we, if China had not shared the sequences of the first six uh, genetic sequences they had on an open platform, the world would not have been as prepared because Within a few hours of those sequences being shared, labs around the world were able to create diagnostic tests to test people in their own countries. And vaccine companies and academics working on vaccines were able to create constructs. This COVID-19 turned out to be pathogen X, but there are going to be more pathogen Xs in the future. And I think we need to pay heed to preparedness for that, both in terms of scientific preparedness, but also in terms of public health preparedness. The China Current continues its special coverage on the coronavirus outbreak. Go to our social media, at The China Current, and our website for interviews, videos, and podcasts. I'm James Chow. Thank you.